All right, Wave Shine Nair is a really good mix-up, and it's pretty much a mix-up with Wave Shine Up Smash. So to start off, at low percents, if you Wave Shine Nair, most players are going to be able to crash cancel, you're not going to get much off it. So you want to go for the damage and do the Up Smash. Maybe after 30% or so, that's when you start mixing in the Nair, and it has so many pros to it. Pretty much, if you Wave Shine Nair somewhere near the edge, it puts them at a lower angle, so you can actually get an edge guard. As opposed to if you Wave Shine Up Smash at the edge, they just go up, and it's way easier to recover when you're up high, as opposed to being at a level height with the ledge. It also can combo really well. If someone's expecting the Up Smash, a lot of players tend to DI in and up, so they don't go too far off the stage. And if you do Wave Shine Nair when they're DI'ing like that, you can usually follow up with another Nair, or even just the shines, you can get them going downward, so you can actually get an edge guard after that. And then the best part about it is once you start conditioning to DI the Nair, they start DIing away so you can't get a combo off the Nair. And then at higher percents, they're still expecting it. So when you do the up smash, they can accidentally smash DI away and just die sideways from the up smash. So it has so many pros and cons. I mean, the more you do it, the more you're going to see what the pros are for each option. So try them out for yourself. But these are easily just a couple of them. And it's there's so many more that you can even just implement into your gameplay.